All right, you guys ready? Here we go. It's my favorite part of the show. Burning <laughs> questions. Elliot hates this, so I'm glad he's not here for this. All right. Uh, if everyone is healthy, what should the Leafs forward lines be in the playoffs? Start with you, Anthony. Uh, well, we know who the top six are going to be right now, but for me, I'm going to uh, you know, sort of sort out this fourth line here with Spezza and Simmons. Just remember Spezza last year stepping up big against the Montreal Canadiens. Mm. He needs to be in the lineup. You need those veterans as well. Wayne Simmons. I like Kerfoot, and Tavares, and Nylander. Give them an opportunity to score some goals. So this is my lineup here. What about you, Justin? You know, I, I think it's insane to have Colin Black Blackwell out of the lineup. He's been awesome for me, so I got to have him in there. That's important. And Kasha, you know, he scored three goals in three games before his latest injury, and we're doing a dream scenario. You have everyone and everyone's healthy. McKayev and Kasha, great workers, and keep that pace up for Tavares. Like the top line, uh, the third line's been very good. So a little bit different look on the fourth line, Stewie. I have, a and Simmons. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling we're going to be talking about the, the permeations uh, at Sheldon Keefe's disposal uh, for the weeks leading up to the postseason. All right, which player has the most pressure to perform in the playoffs? Start with you, Justin. I'm taking Mitch Marner just, you know, last season, the way it went against the Montreal Canadiens and what he's doing right now, you know, the most points since the All-Star break, any player in God knows how many years. He's been on a tear. Pressure's big, uh, big market here, so I'm taking Marner. I'm going with Sergei Bobrovsky in, uh, with the Florida Panthers. He's known to, you know, the Panthers are known to score 15 goals a game. He sort of stumbled <laughs> last year in the playoffs. If he can come and play 920, 930 hockey, they are going to be the Stanley Cup favorites coming out of the East right now. So Bobrovsky's got to bring his A game. Uh, he's brought it most of the season. He's got to continue to bring that as well. And Florida's not Toronto when it comes to hockey markets, but they haven't won a series since 1996, so there is some definite pressure there for uh, goalie Bob. Which team is most vulnerable to an upset in the playoffs? Anthony. Uh, I think it's got to be the Tampa Bay Lightning. So I think the Leafs fans are going to want to hear that. They've got five losses in their last eight games. They seem to be running on fumes right now. Vasilevsky's been stumbling a little mm. bit too. So Tampa Bay Lightning. Yeah, and I'm taking Florida for the very re reasons you used before in Bobrovsky. 899 career playoff save percentage. Um, you know, this is a team that wants to score a lot of goals. I, I just think the goaltending is such a big question mark. All right, the Sunshine State not liking these answers. Tampa, Florida, <laughs> We're vulnerable. We're on in Florida, right? <laughs> <laughs> We're only on in Ontario, right? <laughs> Who's the best passer in the NHL? Justin. Well, we're on Florida. I'll take Huber, though. You know, the guy's leading the NHL in assists. That yeah. seems like a pretty good indicator. But, you know, for, for many years now, whoever is on this guy's line Oof. instantly becomes better. He's able to, his vision is as good as the actual execution of the passing. God, I saw him with him and Giroux connecting throughout these games. has been fascinating to watch. Love him. Uh, I got to be, for me, it's got to be Mitch Marner. And you saw Huberdo. That's a sauce pass. Marner's one of those guys that when he sees a lane, directly through the body there. The best player to do that, I think, is Tyler Sagan. But the way that he's finding Matthews right now, who's on pace for over 60 goals. A lot of it has to do with Mitch Marner and his passing ability. No wrong answers there. Some great players. All right, which injury will have a bigger impact on a team's season? Let's start with you, Anthony. Uh, it's got to be uh, Freddie Anderson mm. with the Carolina Hurricanes. You know, goaltending, you need goaltending to make a run right now. The Carolina Hurricanes are poised to go deep for him right now. So if he's out and injured, if there's anything serious, I could see the Hurricanes bowing out early. Yeah, they're going to do an MRI, by the way, on Freddie Anderson. That was last night. Horrible to see the X-Leaf go down like that. What about you, Justin? Yeah, I'm sticking in Florida and going with Ekblad. I know he's supposed to be back by the postseason, but every team who wins the Stanley Cup has a wonderful number one D-man. Ekblad has a high ankle sprain. Those take forever. Those hurt for years. So if this guy's even less than at his best, it's going to hurt Florida in a big way. And thank God they picked up Ben Sherratt. That's a good thing yeah. there. At least they have a little bit of insurance. Hopefully Ekblad will be back sometime this postseason. Bonus question. I'm not sure if you saw this uh, last night on Kevin BX says. Twitter account. Uh, he put out sort of a, a TSN versus Sportsnet uh, idea of what our lineup would be like in a charity hockey game. Most questionable lineup decision here from Kevin Bieksa. Gentlemen, what do you think? Well, I love it because I'm on the first line, so Juice, uh, expect your $100 tip coming right now, but that's a lineup. I think that could play probably in the Cheese Toast Hockey League right now. I, you know, lineup. if I'm Gary Galley, I'm like, you're playing Jeff Merrick ahead of me? What's <laughs> it? What's about Jamal Mayers is lined up behind D.A.? Yeah, like, get, me down, that, get me down that <laughs> roster. We have some heavyweights in that roster, though. It's a heavy third line. Not be intimidated. Someone's got to set that up. Uh, Sportsnet TSN charity hockey game.